Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The War Below, and this is a new period drama, war film, from writer-director J.P. Watts, focusing on a group of miners who are recruited during World War I from Britain to come over and try to dig under no man's land to try to blow up the German front in their bunkers deep below the surface. And this film focuses on this group of miners, and you have a variety of soldiers along the way as well, working with them, because you have actors Sam Hazeldine, Tom Goodwin-Hill, Chris Hitchens, and they're all really solid and strong in their performances. There's a lot of chemistry between the cast here, and the characters really work well together. And you build these connections with these characters. They're all from different aspects of life and from different pers coming from different perspectives and even places in life where it's like some have family that they need to fight for. Some are younger men like Sam Clement's character. And this really helps you connect with these characters and spends that time to connect with the characters. And then you have those moments of like tension of them trying to dig and trying to blow this up. And you have moments where these characters get pushed over the edge and go to drastic measures emotionally, and you see some tragic things going on in this film. From a technical perspective, Watts does a really fine job of shooting this film and really capturing the time period, the costumes, the production design, and all of that feels very genuine, and it really captures this World War I time period well. And you see this, you get it, you see No Man's Land, you see this disgusting and grimy kind of place, and not quite, so like, it's hard because like you have things like 1917, which was so engrossing and incredibly technically well done, this doesn't necessarily go there, but there's a lot more character into this film. This is much more of a character piece where you're really focusing on these these different miners and the soldiers working with them and you connect with them you have strong performances from all across the cast you care about these characters because there's empathetic performances that these actors give that really allow you to get drawn in and feel for them and understand where they're coming from in terms of what they have to do here there's definitely scenes where you build that tension. There's the conflict between them and the military. There's conflict with each other where they're coming from different perspectives, why they should keep going for this or not. And you feel for them, and along the way, this is a very solid, very straightforward, and very British period drama set in this wartime. And I feel like this is a very effective film. I felt connected to many of these characters. This thing didn't blow me away. This wasn't like a 1917, which I was in awe of. This isn't a Dunkirk, which I was in awe of. But, or like a Saving Private Ryan, which is able to do the technical and really deep human emotions as well. This really hits its stride, it hits its beats, and you connect where you need to connect, and you get the characters, and there's enough depth there for you to feel for them and want to go along this journey with them. And in the end, especially if you're a fan of war films, period, dramas, I think this really captures both of those things well, and Watts is able to hit his marks in terms of the technical aspects and deliver a really effective film that gives an interesting story and a captivating story of these brave miners who are not soldiers who come in and try to do this unthinkable task. And I was pretty drawn in on their journey and really sitting on the edge of my seat waiting to see if they would succeed. And this one's definitely worth your time. I would go check this one out. But those are my thoughts on the war below. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.